Welcome into the Recap Rush Hour for Thursday, March 23rd. I'm David Kaplan, brought to you by ChevyDriveChicago.com, your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Our daily game during the scouting portion of pre-draft work. Where is Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflus today? They're at the University of Alabama. Eight-man contingent is there, and they are evaluating Bryce Young, among others. And I asked someone today in the league, can you tell me why he is doing that? He said, absolutely. The way Poles does his work, and he's not the only team that does this, not everyone does, but he does, he evaluates all the players that he thinks have NFL potential, and they go into his computer system. Five years from now, you know what? We want to trade for Bryce Young or sign this other guy or whoever it is. He goes back in his computer and goes, I saw that guy at Pro Day. Let's see if what I said at Pro Day holds up now. How has that guy developed over the years? He has a baseline and then a current grade on that player. So good to see the Bears are getting out and evaluating everybody. The draft is April the 27th. Next up, a trip for the Bears contingent to Penn State for their pro day. Also, as I, if you missed it, as I reported the other day, Ryan Poles is saying he will be bringing Jalen Carter into Lake Forest for meetings and everything else, testing uh, that will go into making the decision if he's on the board still at pick number nine. My question of the day for you, let's assume that Jalen Carter, Paris Johnson, Broderick Jones from Georgia, the tackle, and Jackson Smith and Jigba and Skaronsky. That's your group right there at nine. Who are you taking? A lot of you are going to say you're taking the receiver. Me, I'm taking the best offensive lineman on the board. I can't take the risk on Jalen Carter, even though he's wildly talented. I want to know what you would do. Post those comments right down below here on my YouTube channel. Sad news today in baseball. Reese Hoskins, the star first baseman of the Philadelphia Phillies, fielding a ground ball. Looks like he may have blown out his knee. He had to be carted off the field with a non-contact knee injury, and it looked awful. So if you go on social media, you could see the replay. It does not look good for Reese Hoskins of the Philadelphia Phillies. Bulls have the night off after that joke of a performance last night at the United Center against the 76ers. They're back to work tomorrow, and the Blackhawks, who have been eliminated from postseason play yet again, they're in D.C., in the nation's capital, to take on Alex Ovechkin and the Washington Capitals. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I appreciate you greatly. Take that.